so I'm creating this video um, just to talk about my experience um, when I took the HESI on Proctor U. Um, there are some videos that I did see, maybe like two or three, um, and they were very helpful, but there were a few questions that I wish I would have known the answers to before I took the exam. So that is why I'm creating this video. Um, so I'm going to talk about what to expect as well as what to expect during the exam and review what helped me with the math and the anatomy and physiology portion. So I'm only going to talk about those two because those are the ones that I really, really studied a lot for. Um, the other ones, you know, um, you're able to study for as well, which I'm going to show you the book that I helped that helped me study for those all those uh, subjects. This book right here was very helpful. Um, I don't know where to get it unfortunately because I got it as a gift from a patient so um, you know it might be on Amazon I'm not sure but this is the book that I was able to study with so it show, has, it gives you like different math problems um, you know as far as anatomy and physiology um, just kind of a summary of each organ system so it was very helpful um, so I definitely recommend this book so let's start with the Proctor U, what to expect. Um, I just want to go right in. I don't want to talk too much because I hate when some videos do that. So um, basically for the Proctor U, you sign up. Um, you get an, an email with a confirmation a few days before to teach you how to got, kind of guide yourself through the website. So that's one of the things that really you should do beforehand because you don't want to get on the day of and not know what to press. and may take you longer to get to the actual exam. So um, once you get into the exam, on the very beginning of the exam, I mean, you have to go through a lot of stuff, but before the exam starts, it tells you what you're able to use as far as materials. So um, for example, you can use a calculator. Um, there is a calculator on the actual computer in the test, so you don't have to worry if in case you don't have a calculator in hand. Um, but you're able to use a calculator. Um, of course, it all depends on institution. So my institution uh, did allow that, as well as did allow scratch paper. So um, definitely pay attention to the screen because it's going to tell you whether or not you're able to use the materials as far as scratch paper, calculator, and if you're able to use the restroom. So my institution did allow scratch paper. Um, I had seen so many questions about that because they're like, oh, what if you look away from the screen? Will it, um, you know, turn off? No, it does not. You're able to use scratch paper and work through all of that um, and you will not get kicked or booted. Now, um, same thing with the calculator. Now for the restroom. So this is one question that I wish that I would have known. Um, it, again, in the beginning, it tells you that you are able to use the restroom. However, there you I, I got very confused because when I was finally able to use the restroom um, or when I wanted to use the restroom, it only says exit. It doesn't say like, oh, like you can come back or whatever. So I was just very scared to press the exit button and not be able to return back to my HESI exam. Um, so I kind of tried to hold it for as long as I could, but um, finally I just couldn't take it anymore. So I exited and I, was, I freaked out at that moment because it took me back to the home page. And I thought, oh my God, how am I able to, um, how am I supposed to be able to get back into my exam? I only finished two portions. So I emailed IT. They were able to talk me through it. Basically, you're able to log back in with the code that they give you. Um, I, you know, when the restroom came back, I tried to log in with that code. However, I was experiencing some issues. So they helped me through it. They gave me a new code. Point is, you're able to get back into the exam. Do not freak out. Like me, I was totally freaking out. Um, but you are able to log back into the exam. Another question that I had questioned myself while I was taking the exam was that there are all, all of the subjects are lined up, so you will have everything that the HESI tests you on. So my institution only needed five subjects, did not need chemistry or biology, but it does show on your HESI chemistry and biology. So I thought, okay, am I going to take this and just score, you know, a very low grade because I did not study for this because my institution did not need this um, subject or should I just skip it and just take a risk? So what I did was I was like, okay, I'm going to take a risk and I'm just going to skip those um, portions that I do not need to uh, do according to my institution. And I did that and it does not show on your report a zero or that you did not do it. 
on your HESI um, reporting transcript. It will only show the scores of what you did and only calculate from the test that you did. So for example, um, you know, it will only show your reading comprehension, grammar, um, anatomy, physiology, math, critical thinking, and give you the overall average from those tests that you did. So do not freak out on that as well. Um, if you do not have to take those um, other um, portions, don't take them. Um, and again, that was something that I was really, really freaking out about because I thought that it was gonna bring my overall uh, score down, but no, it doesn't. So that's um, some of the things that I wish I would have known before I took uh, my exam on Proctor U. Now, let's dive into the um, to the subject. So for anatomy and physiology, um, again, this book did help to kind of understand what to expect on anatomy and physiology. However, the main thing that helped me was Quizlet. So I watched previous videos of the HESI just to know what to expect. And um, everybody swore by this Quizlet. And I will say this for myself as well, I swear by this Quizlet. I made 100 on this um, anatomy and physiology portion. So I definitely recommend this Quizlet. Um, if I would say out of 100 questions, you know, um, it was only 30 questions. There was maybe only um, two that were not on Quizlet. But other than that, everything was on Quizlet. All the questions were on Quizlet. So definitely recommend the Quizlet, which I'm going to provide the link below so you guys can um, refer back to that. Um, and again, thank you to the previous HESI reviews that told me about that because I would have never known. So it was amazing. I made flashcards. And, you know, when I tested myself, had my husband test me, um, I even wrote down, you know, what part of, or of the organ system was this question about. You know, that's what helped me. But of course, you can do um, whatever you'd like to help you memorize. So that's with the AMP Quizlet all the way. Now, as far as the math, um, that one, um, you know, I've always had issues with math because of trying to memorize equations and stuff like that. So um, one thing that helped me, um, you have to definitely remember how to subtract, multiply, divide, and add um, d uh, fractions. So that is one thing that you have to remember as far as improper fractions and, you know, uh, decimals and percentages and ratios. You have to memorize all of that. And that's where this book really comes in hand because it helps you with practice problems on how to, and, and it teaches you step by step on how to do that as far as, you know, you also have to remember um, how to multiply and divide, add with whole numbers. And that's one thing that definitely practice on. Um, one thing that definitely helped me was also uh, Khan Academy. So I went on there once I felt like I was ready and I did practice questions, practice tests. So that's uh, one thing. Now, another thing that you have to kind of memorize, um, you know, as far as military time, that's something that's pretty easy. Um, also, the metric um, metric chart, like conversions of metric. Um, so mnemonics is what helped me. So basically, um, there was one mnemonic that was King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk, and it helps you convert from kilo to uh, hecto, deca, deci, centi to milli. So, and that could be from, uh, you know, meter to liter to gram. And that really, really helped me. So I will provide the link below on the actual um, video that showed me that so you guys can see that as well as well as like gallons to ounces so one of the mnemonic was the kingdom of gallon there are four queens the queen had two princesses the princess had two cats and i added this last part which is um, each cat drinks eight ounces of milk so that helped me know how much was in each um, you know uh, metric um, as far as units of length that's another thing that you have to memorize like yards to miles uh, inches and all of that um, that is something I could not find a mnemonic on, so I would definitely recommend um, trying to memorize that. Um, and then the Celsius to Fahrenheit. So as far as the uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, I, uh, there is an equation for it. So um, I found it difficult to try to remember the exact equation to, um, for each one. So what I did was I found a video that simplifies and gives you a trick on how to get the an a close enough answer. So um, it's much easier, much easier equation. I will provide the link below. And basically, um, it just gives you an, 
kind of a close number to the answer. And the good thing is that when you're taking the test, there is, out of all the answers, that answer that is closest to, um, that answer that is closest to the number that you got is what your answer will be. So there is not uh, questions that are all kind of close to your answer. It's only that one answer that is close to uh, what you got on your equation. So that's how I was able to um, pass through those um, because there would be, like let's say the answer was 30 degrees um, Celsius there would be 100 degrees Celsius, uh, 50 degrees Celsius, or zero degrees Celsius. Obviously, your answer is going to be right around, what you get is going to be right around there. It'll be either, let's say, 25 or 32. It will never be closer to any of the other answers. So that helped me a lot. And I will, again, provide the link below to all of these um, things that have helped me. But um, uh, again, I just wanted to create this video because I wanted to help others um, you know, through this journey, as far as the HESI, I was very, very nervous. I actually threw up the morning that I took the HESI um, because I didn't know what to expect. And I want to be able to help whoever is feeling like I was. Um, you know, I, my ended score, uh, overall score was a 90. Um, I made, again, I made 100 on my uh, anatomy physiology. I made a 90 on my math. So, or 88 on my math, sorry. And then the um, rest, you know, just kind of varied. But yeah, so, you know, again, this book was really helpful. Uh, Quizlet and Khan Academy really helped me and other different YouTube videos. So I'll provide all the links below. Uh, you know, please like my video if it was helpful. If you know of anybody that is going to be taking the test, you can share it and hopefully it helps um, answer some questions that you may have. Um, but yeah, you can more than you're more than welcome to message me, um, comment if you have any other questions that I could I possibly missed. But uh, good luck on y'all's exam and bye bye.